Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be really different because it's something that I never actually did before but I was inspired to do by some videos like these. These are videos of how so many different Korean people are trying Pakistani snacks so I was like why not switch it let's Una reverse card it and a Pakistani tries Korean snacks. So I went to the supermarket and I got a couple of different Korean snacks. I didn't get that much because I don't really know much about Korean snacks but let me do that let me know down in the comments um, some of your favorite Korean snacks and some suggestions so maybe I can try them later on. So the snacks that I got today and by the way we're going to be using a a lot of Google Translate today so these are the snacks that I got today I literally do not know what these are I just randomly picked so these are the four snacks that we got today um, so we're gonna be using Google Translate on these products because I do not know what they are so I think I want to start off with the with this it kind of I think it's like a Korean version of goldfish so I'm gonna be using Google Translate on this to read what it says so i'm gonna go to google and i'm gonna translate and uh, so let's see what it says hold on i'm sorry okay oh okay so this basically says whale rice um if it does not say that just let me know down in the comments because i'm gonna be trusting google translate Trust me, I do not know Korean. So, whale rice. Doesn't really look like rice, but okay. Let's try it. But there is a whale on here, so I'm super excited to try it. I'm going to open this up. Oh, I'm, I'm having some troubles. Okay, I, I, I opened it. So, this is what it looks like. Oh, it smells good. Okay, so... Oh, okay. That's what it looks like. It's very crunchy. I feel like it's actually yummy. Like, I feel like I like it, but I'm not gonna be eating this kind of snack while watching a movie because it's really crunchy and I can't eat it while watching a movie or talking to someone because I won't be able to hear what they say. So, but it's really crunchy. I love the little shapes that they made. Like, look at this one. It's like, I'm pretty sure whale themed, so I like it. It's crunchy and it's a good snack. Um, honestly, it's not something that I would eat like daily. So I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. I really like it though, it's really crunchy. And it's like garlicky, it's not, it's not that gar, I don't know what the flavor is. Oh, seaweed flavor. Did y'all actually put seaweed in this? Well, I guess seaweed tastes good. I don't think it's actually seaweed, but it's really good. It's seasoned with some kind of... I don't know what this is, but it tastes really good. Like, the seasoning is really good. So, yeah. It's a 7 out of 10 for me. Let's move on to the next snack. So, the next snack that we're going to be trying is this. It looks like it's something spicy because we have a chili on there and I absolutely love spicy food. And let's use Google Translate to see what this one says. Oh, so it says very hot rice. Hold on, I'm going to learn how to pronounce that. Hold on, hold on. I need to learn how to pronounce that. Tatiokoboki <laughs> Pronounce Okay How do I pronounce this? Hold on Tukboki Tukboki, okay Tukboki Okay, so I'm not supposed to say Tatiokoboki I'm supposed to say Tukboki, okay I'm sorry So it's very hot rice Tukboki Hopefully it's not too hot because this one time I tried Korean um, noodles, like the ramen style noodles, and it was so hot that it was not even good. Like it was, it was extreme. It was hot, hot. So yeah. Oh, okay. 
So from the packaging, I thought it would look like slanties. I'll put a picture right here. It's a Pakistani um, snack. It's like chips. So this is what it actually looks like. Okay. Oh, it's not spicy. It's like not that spicy. It's kind of sweet, actually. It's crunchy, but I like this one. It says that it will be spicy, but it's not. I think maybe Tukbuki is not supposed to be spicy. I don't know. Let me know, please. Feel free to cor correct me. So, it's really yummy. I like it. Um, it's crunchy. And I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. I really like it. I love the texture and the flavor of this. It's really yummy. You should try this too. I love this one. It's a, it's an 8.5. Yep, I love it. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next snack. We're gonna be trying this. So I actually read the back of this, and over here, really small, it says Korean traditional cookies. So I guess these are some traditional cookies. I'm still gonna use Google Translate because I'm like that. I'm Sigma, guys. I don't know why I said that. But okay. We're still gonna use Google Translate on this. I wanna see what it says. It's land? Wait, what? Oh, wait. Google Translate is telling me it says great. First it showed me it's land, like legit, it's land. I'm like, what? And then it just turned it into great. Well, I'm pretty sure it's great because it's supposed to be great because so far the Korean snacks are great. That's a lot of greats, but anyways, we're gonna try these Korean traditional cookies next. Open it up. Okay. I don't really know about the smell, but okay. This is what they look like. Oh, these are like the kind of things that those crackers that you fry in pakistan the colorful crackers that you fly, fry and then you put them around your fingers and you eat them i love doing that they're like colorful but that's the shape of this traditional korean cookie i'm about to try it mm. it has a little touch of peanut taste in it i like it though it's crunchy. I would not eat, recommend eating and watching a movie. But it's actually really good. I like it. Mm. It's really good. I feel like this is one of the things the more you eat, the more you like it. And I really like it. So I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. I like it. Let's go on to the last snack. Okay, so this one, oh, oh, okay, light. <laughs> so this one was a snack that I was most excited about trying. So I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm an extremely foodie person. And if I was able to, if this makes sense to you, I love eating food. Like eating food is my hobby, if, if it makes sense. I mean, yeah, people will understand. So this is Choco Mont. I think that's how you pronounce it, Choco Mont. And I was excited about trying these because these are some mini chocolate biscuits. And I also like sweets. So, and these are like two boxes. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, take the seal apart and then let's try it. So, I took the seal apart. I'm gonna open this up. We're, we're packaging, we're packaging. Sorry, guys. I love this. This is so nicely packaged. Like a little bag inside of the box and like box two boxes sealed together. This is so nicely packaged. Oh, sorry. And I'm pretty sure that is what they're supposed to look like. Just open it up. Really clumsy. <laughs> What's that face? <laughs> Anyways. Okay. It smells so good. It smells amazing. Oh, it's little mushrooms. This is like dipping the steaks in Nutella, that snack. It's like that, but like the Nutella is already on. Mmm. It 
tastes like Kokomo. I'll put a picture right here. It tastes like Kokomo. Oh my god, I love Kokomo. It tastes exactly like it. I love it so much. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to give this a 9 out of 10. I love this so much. Mm. I'm pretty sure this one is my favorite. If I have to pick favorites out of all of them, I would pick Choco Mart. It's really good. But overall, all the snacks I tried today were absolutely amazing. I loved it and I appreciate all of the Korean people trying my country snacks and actually liking them. So, uh, thank you so much for watching today's video and recommend any Korean snacks down below in the comment section. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!